Jonathan, now that it's been a, a little over a week, uh, have, have you had a chance to actually sit and watch the sack that you had in the Texas A&M game? Just what was your reaction when you saw it? I mean, I, it, it, it was it was cool. I thought it was cool, but um, I try not to focus on that. I try to focus on what I have to do to get better. So. What I took from the game was the missed tackles, the missed opportunities I left out there. So that's kind of what's eating at me right now about last week's game. Did you hear a lot from some of your teammates in the locker room about that sack? And then uh, were they a little bit, I guess, nicer to you about uh, this fumble return as opposed to the last one where they said you sort of ran out of steam? Uh, I heard about it a little bit. I mean, not, not, not nothing too crazy. I mean, I think that we were just happy to come out with the win. That was a big thing. So that's kind of what we talked about a little bit. But they did say I looked a little better this touchdown. Jonathan, you've been through obviously the buys before. Is it hard to turn that switch back into game mode after a weekend off? I want to say we had to turn it on because we never turned it off. I mean, we had a very intense week of practice during the bye week. So even though we didn't have a game, we were still mentally locked into what we had to do to get better. I don't know if you guys have started watching any LSU at this point or not, but uh, obviously they've made some tweaks to their offense with the coaching change. What, what have you noticed that looks different? Um, they, they like to spread it around a little more, open it up a little bit, but they're still a physical running team, so that's our focus going into this game. So what's the, I guess, overall, um, I guess, mindset going in? You just had a bind and you, know, you got LSU, and, you know, um, again, it is a little bit, I guess, different type of offense with the quarterback now, but what's a few things they're going to try to do? Um, honestly, our mindset is going there to dominate. I mean, that's what we plan on doing. That's what we intend to do. That's what we're going to practice to do. I mean, as defense, we want to dominate the line of scrimmage and affect the quarterback. And that's our goal for every game, regardless of who we're playing. So that's kind of our mindset going into the game. When you talk about dominating, I know you said you didn't want to focus too much on that sack, but that's an intimidating play for another offense to watch. Is it a goal or something you guys want to be sort of this intimidating defense that they kind of have to for their lives in a sense back there? You always want to be intimidating to the other team, but at the at the same time, they're competitors. So, I mean, I highly doubt they're intimidated by what we did last week. So, like I said, we're not worrying about, we're just going out there and to do our job and dominate. When you're, going up, against, question, when you're going up against a running back like Leonard, and that's someone they say is going to be a top pick in the draft, is there any added incentive when you're going up against a running back like him, honestly? I want to say there's any added incentives. I mean, we want to hit him the same way we hit everybody the whole year, you know. We just trying to play up to Coach Saban standards, Alabama standards, and our own standards. So, regardless of who we're playing, we're, we're trying to play our best football every game. Jonathan, opponents, you know, you expect them to think that they're going to win, but they've gotten into the little the trash talking during the bye week with you guys. Uh, does that add any fuel to you? Do you motivate? Do you really care? Do you need any of that stuff when um, teams start talking trash and saying what they can do? Or? Honestly, not really. I mean, we're going to settle our. our, our talk on the field so we'll see them Saturday so we're not really worried about what they're talking about right now there's still a long week ahead of us to get get ready and get better so we're just going to focus on what we have to do and not worry about anybody else All right, thank you. Thank you.